What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Tate's Garage. So, as always, we're hanging out. Got my trusty purple cup. Got my old trusty strap. We're listening to some jam. So, as always, subscribe, like, comment, hit the patron page. Let's get a community of like minded music lovers started and let's get some conversations going. So, today in the garage, or the house. I know somebody pointed out I'm not sitting in a garage, but anyways. So today I'm listening to Hector and Chondo with the album Let Loose Those Chains. Uh, now this album was released September 17th, 2021, and it's been on my list to do a review on this album, so I'm just now getting to it. Uh, this album runs 12 songs and 49 minutes. Now, I had never heard of Hector and Chondo before um, I discovered this album. Now, one morning as I was heading into my 40 hour a week day gig, uh, this popped up in my new music section. And one thing, I, first my initial reaction was, how in the hell do you say this guy's last name? But then his voice sucked me in and I had to keep listening. Um, and this is a blues album in the traditional sense, but modern feeling with the production. And um, it's got this guy from reading his bio and I really implore you to go to his website and read his bio. This guy, he moved to Chicago for a little bit to soak in some of that blues. Um, he's won some awards at the Memphis Blues Festivals and Cigar Box Festivals. Um, and he's got a band, like a live band, um, where he plays electric. And the guy, he's got some chops, right? He doesn't only have chops with a six string in his hand, but he's got chops vocally in his songwriting ability. So that really sucked me in. So Hector and Chondo... Uh, let's talk a little bit about the gear that he used or uses now um, In some of the videos that I've seen he's rocking a Taylor guitar if you do not know What a Taylor acoustic guitar is you may be living under a rock, but uh, they were founded in 1947 um, They're built in California and in Mexico for some of their lower end models, uh, but they are one of the best acoustic guitar manufacturers out there today. Uh, their bracing on the inside of the instrument is very innovative. Um, they're really second to none for their clarity when plugged in electric uh, with the way that their bridge pickup is designed. Um, I've, I have played a few of them. I've never been fortunate enough to own one. I would love to own one, especially like a uh, one of their, their mid-level models. Uh, but yeah, if you get a chance to play a Taylor and get a Taylor in your hand, I really, really, really implore you to do that because they are, they've been doing it for 47 years and they build excellent acoustic guitars. So that's Taylor. Uh, for when he plays electric, it was interesting. I, I saw something that looked like a Strat, but in my mind, I at first I was like it's just Strat dude's playing a Strat and I got to looking at it and was like it doesn't look like a Fender Strat so he is playing a Delaney guitar and I never really dug into Delaney's and it come to find out Delaney makes some guitars for some people who I really dig um, Samantha Fish Anders Osborne um, Walter Trout which I have I've met Walter Trout and if you've never listened to him that's a separate conversation and video get off your ass and go listen to Walter Trout he will blow you away so will Samantha Fish but uh, it's cool that they make guitars for some of these artists and if you look on their website which is always I will put a link 
Delaney Guitars makes some great looking instruments and it looks like they're based out of Austin, Texas. So very cool. So Hector and Chondo. Let's get to the album. So uh, the album runs 12 songs, uh, 49 minutes. And as always, I'm going to give you my top three off the album that I feel like, hey, take this album, crank it up in your everyday life. And these are the, this is where I would start. So number three for me is the number 11 song off the album. And it's called Mama's a Hard Man. And it runs three minutes and 40 seconds. Now, this isn't the most flashy song on the album. His rhythm playing on this is Stone Cold Blues, um, you know. And... The subject matter of the song is uh, is talking about, I don't know if he's talking specifically about his mom or he's talking about a mom that had to pick up the slack when the dad had run off and how hard she is and how much she has done for that family in this song and um, how tough she is. So uh, I respect my mom a lot and uh, my mom can be a tough cookie at times if y'all if you're ever fortunate enough to meet her be careful because uh, she shoots it straight and that's one thing that i love about her but that's what got me thinking about her and this song and tied it into my everyday fabric so uh mama's a hard man number 11 on the album and it's three minutes and 40 seconds number two for me off of this is the number nine song and it's called vested angels and it's five minutes and 12 seconds now to me this is the best vocal performance on the album and i was listening to this um like i said it's five minutes it's the longest cut on the album but uh it, his vocal on this uh hector Antondo's vocal on this is spectacular uh there's a little guitar at the end that he can really show his chops but I think the thing that really sucked me in the most is the emotion in his vocal as he's using his voice as an instrument. And that was very powerful. Uh, sometimes you can move people with just words and just the enunciation of things. So there we go. My number one song off the album is a song called go I'm Going to Missouri. And it's the number two song on the album and it runs three minutes and 36 seconds now this song has got an old feel to it but as i was driving in my car and it came on the first thing that i pictured was rolling down route 66 and a classic corvette with the top down with the wind dragon and i just couldn't get that imagery out of my head i couldn't get the feeling of cruising down the road in a classic automobile with this jamming through the speakers and um, for me to lose and get sucked into that feeling on my way to a 40 hour a week job that has accomplished what music is to me music is an outlet and a release to clear our heads and relax us from our everyday stresses that's that's me personally Music does different things for everybody, but part of what I love about music is the storytelling and the feeling that jam gives us. So, I'm going to Missouri for a while. It's my number one cut off the album. It is the number two song on the album and runs three minutes, 36 seconds. So, overall, how do I feel about this album? I really enjoyed it. Um, is is this indicative of Mr. Anchando's cat uh, catalog? To be honest, I'm not really sure. I just discovered this guy and I'm starting to dig in, which is something that I always implore you to do on this channel, is make sure that you don't just listen to what you're spoon fed on the radio or what other people give you. Make sure you dig into an artist's work because an artist is giving you part of them. And I have to do that myself in this case. So this is a really great album. Uh, I'm going to give it four jams uh, around the house. Relaxing. Great album. 
uh, cruising down the road, like I said, that song, I'm going to Missouri for a while, will suck you in and it'll give you some imagery in your head to help you relax. So I'm going to give it four jams. Well, there you go, folks. Let Loose These Chains by Hector Anchondo. I hope I do not butcher that name. My Georgia accent. I'll be honest. I had to YouTube it and hear somebody else say it. So hopefully I'm saying it correctly. Um, but go to your streaming services. Uh, go to his website. He's got some cool looking t-shirts. He's got some hoodies and stuff that I noticed. I'm going to have to pick me up one. And uh, give this guy your patronage. And let your ears absorb what he's given us. So there you go. Stay safe out there. Keep rocking. And remember that music is love. And love is music. Until next time, good people, I'll be seeing you.